Hi, we're here with Janet Knapp in Paducah, and she took the Judge's Choice Award. Now tell me, what does it feel like to know that you were a personal favorite of a judge? It's very exciting. Nothing I ever thought would happen, ever. <laughs> Never. I didn't even know what to do, so, you know, you Yes, can I tell. remember when you stood up. I think I was there was a little bit of a dance Oh, yeah, well, there was for a moment. My husband said, I think you're supposed to maybe go up front. I said, I don't know, I know that. <laughs> So Absolutely. anyway, Absolutely. Yes. So tell me a little bit about this quilt, how long it took you to make it, some of the well, techniques here. All right, I spent probably about three years, but I did two piece quilts, large piece quilts in the meantime. I sort of would work on a block and then put it aside because I think you do better if you don't keep pushing on a project so strongly. And um, the motivation totally was I'd never done a blanket stitch that I could not measure and do it precisely and I just was giving up. I saw this pattern and I thought if I change things on the pattern like I'd like to and do that buttonhole stitch, then I will, or the blanket right. stitch, I will be a happy camper. <laughs> and it seemed to work fairly well for me. So tell me about, we were talking about the sunflowers up here earlier, tell me about right. those. Right, after they were applicated on with the blanket stitch, I decided I'll put those gold, I put lots of beads on, but I put the gold beads on first and I thought, oh this looks really crazy, so then I did colonial knots on each one. It took four hours to do each of the sunflowers. Wow. And it was it was really fun because it just started to puff out. Yeah, there's also some personal touches, something something right. personal in this quilt to mm -hmm. you? Right. The most, most specific thing is the gold ties or whatever on the flag came from a flag that my father gave me that's on our piano at home. And I said to my husband, I think I'm going to just take those off and put them on my quilt and they'd be happier there. So that really is special to me Absolutely. to have that. Now, um, did you know the judge? Who I did not know the judge, and I went and found her this noon at 11.30 when class was out. And it was just fun, because I know the other two judges fairly well, and it was just fun to meet Kimberly. She's just a sweetheart. Just, Absolutely. Yeah, she said she loved it when she saw it, and I said, well, I sort of love you too then, honey. <laughs> sort of a trade-off. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But well, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your quilt? Uh, um, I did go online. The, the original pattern, which I did change and add the flag to, because there wasn't a flag, and I think we need flags everywhere in the United States right now. And the crows didn't have eyes. And I went online and started studying and took, you know, from there how to make the crow's eyes stand out. Other than that, it's just pretty much a blanket stitch and some embellishment. So what are your plans for this quilt now? My plans will probably be to send to another show, and our daughter thinks it's hers. <laughs> but beyond that, you know, it's not a bed quilt, it'll have to hang someplace. Absolutely. So but do we have anything to look forward to in 2015? I'm always going to work on quilts. I'm doing some designing on my own, you know, but it's applique. Right. I love applique, right? All right. Yep. Well, thank you for being you here, and thank you for sharing your Thank you experience. for having nice me. You. This is the greatest show in the world. Oh, It truly you. is. It's thank wonderful. You. People are wonderful. but. You know, it's just awesome. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, dear. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks.